Would you like to win and achieve success at what you do? Welcome to the Winner's Ways podcast, where we create winners every day. And now your host, the author of Winner's Ways book and life coach, Bola Alabi. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Winner's Ways podcast. I love talking about career, money, and motivation on this podcast. And I do this because I want more people to find the job they love, grow in that job, so that they can live a fulfilled life. Guys, 2022 is over. Yeah. No matter how 2022 ended for you, I want you to know that the new year, 2023, it's another opportunity to start all over again. If things did not go as you had planned in 2022, I want you to use 2023 as a reset and restart year. I want you to think about those things that did not work for you in 2022, learn the lessons from 2022, and use those lessons learned to do better in 2023. If things worked out for you well in 2022, I also want to encourage you to use 2023 as a year to build on your success I want you to build on the momentum that you had in 2022. I want you to double down on those things that worked for you. Is that okay? Yeah. So uh, because each year, in my opinion, we've got to continuously make progress. And that's what I preach on my podcast. So happy 2023, guys. I wish you abundance, progress, success excellent health, and every good thing that you desire. In this new year, I've got a lot of plans around content to help you guys. I'm excited about this uh, year already. The first thing that I'm going to be rolling out, and I'm thinking maybe around March of this year, will be my first digital course. Yay! Yes, I'm excited about that. I am working on a digital course to teach people how to land their dream job. Yes, I happen to be one of the lucky few that does what he likes. I enjoy my work and I'm growing in my career. And because of that, I want many more people to learn from how I get things to work for me. Yes, and I'm going to be sharing those lessons in my digital course. I'm going to show you how to search for job in 2023. I'm going to show you how to build your network. I'm going to show you how to create a resume that will help you land the job you desire. So I'm excited uh, about that. I also want to be, you know, I'm going to be starting uh, running a coaching calls. Uh, You know, it's going to be like webinars to help more people also find a job, a job that they are going to enjoy, a job where they are going to grow. That's my passion. And as you know, I will continue to bring in expert guests on this show, uh, guests that are successful in different fields. I want us to continue to learn from them as they share their knowledge and insight with us. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. So many, many different things lined up to the benefits of you guys. Now, for this new year, You know, I've been thinking a lot about it. And uh, one thing that I want people to do, uh, especially you guys, my audience, is to go all 
in in whatever you do. And I'm going to break it down so that you will understand what I'm trying to uh, pass across. I'm the kind of guy that loves creating plans. Yes, I enjoy creating plans. Normally, I'll have plan A, plan B, plan C, even plan D. And if those don't work, I can't even get to plan Z until I either get what I want or something close to it. So that's, that's the way I roll. I come up with plans, work on my plans. If plan A doesn't work, I move on to plan B, to plan C, to plan D until I get something that works for me. Late last year, I began to challenge myself about the need, you know, the usefulness of all these plans. I question myself, is it that I am not confident that I will get the outcome that I desire? Was that why I always force myself or encourage myself to come up with different versions of plans? Was that the reason? Or was I not sure of what I wanted? You know, if you are not sure of what you want, sometimes you may say, okay, if this don't work, let me go to another one. Let me go to another one. Was that what I was going through? And I challenge myself, what if I stick to just one plan? What if I go all in on my plan? That is, I have only one plan. Maybe call it plan A, no plan B, plan C, or plan D. I should have one and only one plan. What will happen if I do that? (laughs) That's scary, isn't it? You won't find that comfortable or comforting if you are like me. If you are like me, you want to have multiple plans in place in case your original plan or your desired plan doesn't work out as you have envisioned. I don't blame you. But what if you've been selling yourself short with all these different versions of plans? What if you've been settling for less by accepting the second or the third or the fourth option? What if you have a mindset that your one and only one plan should and must work out for you or nothing? What if you go all in? What if you work your heart out, do whatever it takes, to make your plans work so that your dream can come true. Is that even possible? And that was exactly what I did around December last year. Imagine, 2022 is already last year. You see, all through the summer, I had guests come on my podcast show. And that's great. I enjoyed each of my guests. These guests are experts in what they, what they do. I had entrepreneurs, CEOs, authors, millionaires, they came on the show. They shared their knowledge and experience. I learned a lot from each of my guests and I am forever grateful to have them on my show. But you see, it takes a lot to prepare for each guest. So I asked the what if question. What if I go all in on my podcast? What if I try to monetize my podcast? Hey, I am providing my platform to these great guys. I promote their podcast and gain exposure by appearing on my show. So what if I started charging them an appearance fee, you know? The thought initially was scary to me, I must confess. I felt that maybe they would turn me down. Maybe they would say, bye, we don't want you. But I went all in. And to my amazement, or maybe against my initial thought, 
they were very receptive to the idea of paying to appear on the podcast. Some of them did not uh, accept that idea, and that's okay. But the majority of them, they, they were receptive to it. And you know what? That helped streamline the guest, and it helped me to attract quality people on the show. In this new year, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go all in. And in the same way, I want you to go all in. Is there something that you've been working on? Is there a plan that you really desire? Is there a goal that you want to go after? I need you to think about what you want. Don't settle for less here. I want you to think about the best case scenario, your ideal situation, not your second option. Not if I can't achieve this, I will settle for that. No. Think about what you truly desire. Then, I want you to put together a plan that will help you get there. Guys, whatever we desire, they won't come to us just like magic. We've got to work to get the outcome that we want. So, you must be ready to do something. What I'm saying is, you should go for your ideal situation. Go for your best case scenario. Go for the career that you want. Go for the relationship that you desire. Go for the ideal business that you want. If you are looking to buy a house, a car, and anything, anything that you truly desire, go for it. Now, if your plans don't work out, don't change your dream. No. Instead, you can fine-tune your strategies. And what I mean by that is that you should look out and explore and ask this question. What are those things that are not working for you? And here's what you should do. Fix those things. I tell you, it is what having that ideal life. It is what having that ideal relationship. It is what it to have that ideal career. It is what it to earn that ideal income and so on. Do you know why? Your ideal life brings fulfillment to you. So in the year 2023, guys, I want to encourage you, don't settle for less. Don't give up when things don't work out for you immediately. I want you to go all in. And that's the message that I have for you today. I hope you found this beneficial. This year, we are going to do many great things. I am already excited. I am pumped for the year 2023. I hope you are too. Because you know what? The new year, yes, it has its own unique set of challenges and opportunities. But every day, you've got to show up. You've got to get into the arena. You've got to put in the work so that you can win at the end of the year. So that you can look back at the end of the year 2023 and give yourself a path at the back that you really and truly went all in in terms of what you want. Thank you for being a listener of this show. I am Bola Alabi. I want you to do me a favor. If you have been listening to this show for a while, please rate and review this show. I want to know how I'm doing. And hey, you can send me a message to let me know what content you want me to create. And I'll do the work and bring those contents to you. And if you are in a generous mood, please don't forget to share this episode with someone that you really care about. Thank you for listening. This episode of Winner's Ways podcast has come to a close. We hope you enjoy and learn something from today's show. 
We want you to win and excel in all areas of your life. And we regularly explore and share information with our listeners to empower them to win. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more tips and strategies to help you find the success that you've always dreamt of. And don't forget to rate and review so that we can continue to bring you more podcast episodes to empower you. We will love to have you again next week. Now, keep winning.